All right, thanks for tuning in to video four in this series on fixed dough solfege. Today I'm going to talk about some mnemonic patterns, syllable patterns which have been in use for quite some time now. We're not going to do any singing today, we're just going to concentrate on syllables because it can sometimes be useful to separate the components when learning solfege and because we're at the beginning of this series. I'm sure you're familiar with the fact that the syllables we use in fixed dough are do, re, mi, fa, so, la, si. And if you wanted, you could probably repeat that pattern pretty fast. Uh, but it's unlikely that you could repeat the pattern equally fast in reverse order. And with these mnemonic devices, we hope to change that and to get you used to some of the other patterns which can occur in a piece of music. It would be good if you could devote a little time each day to these exercises when you are still beginning to learn solfege. All right, let's take a look at an exercise. So here you see an ascending scale beginning on Do consisting of seconds. Remember in fixed Do, even if these notes had sharps or flats in front of them, we would still say the same syllables. And by now you should be familiar with the syllables used for this scale. And like I said, you might be able to say these syllables pretty fast. Try repeating them really fast with an accent on the first syllable. Do re mi fa sol la si 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 do re mi fa sol la si. Like I said, you might be able to do that pretty fast. But what if we take it up a second? The scale in the second measure here starts on re. Can you say the syllables starting on re equally fast? Try it. Re mi fa sol la si do 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 re mi fa sol la si do. Now that's probably going to be slightly harder than starting on Do, just because you aren't quite as used to the sound. One of the things that I find helpful is to pretend that the seven syllables make up a word. And you don't have to say them quite as fast as I do in the beginning. Okay, let's move on up the scale. Here you can see the entire exercise of ascending seconds. Try some more of these. Try to repeat each one four times. I'll start in the third measure with Mi. Mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re. Then follows fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re mi. Then comes sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa. Then la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol la si do re, mi fa sol. And finally, in the seventh measure. Si do re mi fa sol la, si do re mi fa sol la, si do re mi fa sol la, si do re mi fa sol la. Okay, so now we're getting a bit more used to the sound of various scales, and segments of scales will often occur in tonal music, so it will be useful for us to get used to the sound of them and to sang these syllable patterns. I suggest practicing this every day, and once you're somewhat versed in solfege, coming back to them every once in a while as well. Maybe this wasn't so hard for you, uh, let's move on to another exercise. Let's also get some practice in bass clef. Now you should already be familiar with bass clef. So in this one we have thirds instead of seconds. These aren't scales, but in tonal music we often have chords that are composed of thirds, such as triads, seventh, and ninth chords. We often see these patterns as well. So let's see what this one sounds like. Can you say the syllables? Do mi sol si re fa la 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 do mi sol si re fa la. Usually, that's a bit harder for students because we don't so often hear the syllables in that order. Let's move on up the scale to re. Re fa la do mi sol si 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 re fa la do mi sol si. Now let's take a look at all the possibilities for ascending thirds. And notice that we're always going to have seven possibilities because seven is a prime number and we have seven syllables. Regardless of what interval we use, unless of course we use the unison, uh, we're always going to arrive uh, back at the first syllable we started with after seven syllables. I'll start in the third measure and go back to repeating them each four times. Mi sol si re fa la do, mi sol si re fa la do, mi sol si re fa la do, mi sol si re fa la do. In the next measure we have Fa la do mi sol si re, fa la do mi sol si re, fa la do mi sol si re, fa la do mi sol si re. Then comes sol si re, fa la do mi, sol si re, fa la do mi, sol si re, fa la do mi, sol si re, fa la do mi. Then comes la do mi sol si re, fa la do mi sol si re, fa la do mi sol si re, fa la do mi sol si re, fa. And finally, si re, fa la do mi sol, si re, fa la do mi sol, si re, fa la do mi sol, si re, fa la do mi sol. 
Okay, so now we're more used to the sound of ascending thirds and saying them. Let's move on to ascending fourths, which occur less often, but which do sometimes occur as well. First, we have do fa si mi la re sol, do fa si mi la re sol, do fa si mi la re sol, do fa si mi la re sol. Then comes re sol do fa si mi la, re sol do fa si mi la, re sol do fa si mi la, re sol do fa si mi la. Next comes mi la re sol do fa si, mi la re sol do fa si, mi la re sol do fa si, mi la re sol do fa si. Then fa si mi la re sol do, fa si mi la re sol do, fa si mi la re sol do, fa si mi la re sol do. Then comes Sol do fa si mi la re, sol do fa si mi la re, sol do fa si mi la re, sol do fa si mi la re. Next we have la re sol do fa si mi, la re sol do fa si mi, la re sol do fa si mi, la re sol do fa si mi. And finally we have si mi la re sol do fa, si mi la re sol do fa, si mi la re sol do fa, si mi la re sol do fa. If you want to pause the video and try some more of these yourself, be my guest. Uh, and we could do fifths next, but the syllable pattern for ascending fifths is the, actually exactly the same as the pattern for descending fourths. You can see, for example, in this image that the second measure consisting of ascending fifths has the same syllable pattern as the first measure. So let's get to the descending patterns and look at some descending fourths. So we start here with do sol re la mi si fa, do sol re la mi si fa, do sol re la mi si fa, do sol re la mi si fa. Then comes Si fa do sol re la mi, si fa do sol re la mi, si fa do sol re la mi, si fa do sol re la mi. Next comes la mi si fa do sol re, la mi si fa do sol re, la mi si fa do sol re, la mi si fa do sol re. Then comes sol re la mi si fa do, sol re la mi si fa do, sol re la mi si fa do, sol re la mi si fa do. Then fa do sol re la mi fa, fa do sol re la mi fa, fa do sol re la mi fa, fa do sol re la mi fa. Then we have Mi si fa do sol re la, mi si fa do sol re la, mi si fa do sol re la, mi si fa do sol re la. And last, re la mi si fa do sol, re la mi si fa do sol, re la mi si fa do sol, re la mi si fa do sol. All right, if we've gotten used to the sound of all these syllable patterns up to now and can say them with some fluency, we're really getting somewhere. Let's move on to descending thirds. Starting at the beginning, we have do la fa re si sol mi, do la fa re si sol mi, do la fa re si sol mi, do la fa re si sol mi. Then comes Si sol mi do la fa re, si sol mi do la fa re, si sol mi do la fa re, si sol mi do la fa re. And then la fa re, si sol mi do, la fa re, si sol mi do, la fa re, si sol mi do, la fa re, si sol mi do. Next comes sol mi do la fa re, si sol mi do la fa re, si sol mi do la fa re, si sol mi do la fa re, si. And then fa re, si sol mi do la, fa re, si sol mi do la, fa re, si sol mi do la, fa re, si sol mi do la. Then comes Mi do la fa re si sol, mi do la fa re si sol, mi do la fa re si sol, mi do la fa re si sol. And finally, re si sol mi do la fa, re si sol mi do la fa, re si sol mi do la fa, re si sol mi do la fa. Again, if you want to pause the video and repeat any of these, be my guest. And finally, let's take a look at the patterns with descending seconds. Once we've done this, we've exhausted all of the possibilities for these type of syllable patterns based on a single interval. Starting at the beginning, we have do si la sol fa mi re, do si la sol fa mi re, do si la sol fa mi re, do si la sol fa mi re. Then comes si la sol fa mi re do, si la sol fa mi re do, si la sol fa mi re do, si la sol fa mi re do. And then la sol fa mi re do si, la sol fa mi re do si, la sol fa mi re do si, la sol fa mi re do si. Next comes sol fa mi re do si, la sol fa mi re do si, la sol fa mi re do si, la sol fa mi re do si la. And then Fa mi re do si la sol, fa mi re do si la sol, fa mi re do si la sol, fa mi re do si la sol. Then mi re do si la sol, fa mi re do si la sol, fa mi re do si la sol, fa mi re do si la sol. And finally comes re do si la sol, fa mi re do si la sol, fa mi re do si la sol, fa mi re do si la sol, fa mi. Okay, and those are the mnemonic syllable patterns that I'd like you to work on, and it'll be helpful if you work on them every day. I've actually uploaded these exercises to my website and provided links uh, to them in the description of this video, so you can download them if you want. And you'll find these exercises in all seven clefs that we'll be working with in this series. Here's an example in soprano clef. If you're a beginner, I'd recommend just sticking to the treble and bass clefs for now. And then at some point, you might take a look back at these examples in the other clefs. I've also uploaded a text document which could help you get away from the notation a little bit to just concentrate on the sound of the syllables. Here's an image of that text document. It might also help you see the patterns more as words like I mentioned earlier. 
One thing you might do to take this to the next level is to actually record yourself repeating these patterns and listen to them over and over again. I know it sounds tedious, but it will improve your fluency in solfege to be more used to the sound of these different syllable patterns. And that's actually it for now. Next time, we'll actually get to some singing, I promise. Until then, happy sight singing. <laughs>